was like um, a Robin Hood, the sort of a gay Tech, took from yeah. the rich and gave to the poor, but he also was a combination of Boss Tweed, Tammany Hall, with the political machine, and he had the swagger of uh, Jimmy Walker, who was the dashing uh, mayor of New York during Prohibition. In fact, John Dunn, who was the costume designer of the show, said that his prototype, and bear this in mind while you watch it, for Nucky's wardrobe was uh, the Duke of Windsor. It worked real well to be the treasurer of the political party. <laughs> that, that kind of, that worked. There may have been some coincidence that he was treasurer of the party, but I'm not sure. Signed everybody's checks, approved yeah. everybody's it's, job. It's, you know, what's interesting, ultimately, just to jump to the end for, for Nucky, or the end of his political public life, is when he was, when he was sent up, when he was finally convicted and sent to prison after 30 years, it was technically for income tax evasion, but he was evading the revenue that he that he received from all the kickbacks, et cetera, et cetera. So that wasn't the problem. You're not going up for uh, supporting prostitution and gambling and, and kickbacks and payoffs and bribes. You're going up for not declaring that as income, which is uh, well, ironic to say the least. And it's pretty important how Lucky Johnson was able to uh, take the north side of town and turn it into a Republican side of yes, town. Right. I remember quite vividly when I first got to town, uh, I was told if I wanted to get a job, I had better register Democrat. Was that right? No, no Republican. Register Republican, right? right? So I became a black Republican back in the Everybody early 50s. Was, right? Everybody, Everybody if you wanted was. a job, you were. Yeah. Well, as I said on the show, if you saw Atlantic City, original Sin City, we had the picture of Roosevelt in our kitchen, but my dad voted Republican. That's right. Well, Vicki, the, the thing you talked about, him being a Robin Hood, I term him, and I go for all three eras that we had. We had, to me, three benevolent dictators, a Commodore, with Nucky and with Senator Farley. And they each, and you figure it out, each were approximately 30 years that they held reign. I call them benevolent dictators because they <laughs> dictated all the jobs, but they also did good things. The Commodore brought us uh, the electricity. He, he had the streets paved up in this, the town that needed to be done. Nucky, the convention hall would not have been built had it not been for Nucky and the other things he's done. Farley, look at the things that are named after him. And as the guys, Dan Good and, the, and Mike Clark did in the paper, they did a blog on, on him and he said, look, they have a street named after Kernel. They have the marina named after Farley. Nothing's named after Nucky. Why? What should we name after Nucky? What? Tell me, give me an idea. We'll get it done. <laughs> the boardwalk, all right. You know what's interesting, what's interesting, Pinky, is you mentioned nothing is named after Nucky. Nucky Pink. Johnson. If, you know, I was looking through the newspapers, the 1920s, the Atlantic City Press, you very rarely see the name Nucky Johnson. Very rarely. You, you, you've got to look through, I mean, I don't know if anybody's gone through the library and tried to look at those old... Um, Micro, the uh, microfiche, yeah, microfilm. Yeah, microfiche. You go through that for hours and hours trying to search. You can't do a search. Well, really, the way Nucky you do, didn't It's very get difficult to find the name, Nucky Johnson. Nucky didn't get his... I, I've been asked many times, well, why doesn't the whole country know Nucky Johnson? He Nucky didn't local. get his notoriety until he made a play for William Randolph's Hearst right. girlfriend. Yes. And yes. then when William Randolph Hearst, the king of yellow journalism, got on his case, he lambasted him into the clinker. Because in the Evening Journal in New York, he posted the pictures of Nucky and Al Capone. He went after him with all the power of the press. And he brought Nucky down. And then he became a more recognized, at least in the Northeast. And he brought him down because he went to FDR. He went to President Roosevelt, for whom he was very friendly, Hearst was at that time. And he said, we got to get rid of this guy up there. And he told them all about him. They sent the FBI in, and that's when this thing fell apart. It took them five years to do so, but it fell apart after that period. Now, Vicki, you mentioned uh, Al Capone. Is that photo real? You know, it's very that famous photo. Everybody it's very has interesting it. about that Who would know, photo. Wouldn't it? Boo, is that photo? Tell when I what first photo, was, let me just say. Tell them what photo you're talking about. There was about. a photo oh, that photo. was originally in the Evening Journal of uh, Nucky Johnson, Al Capone, and a little henchman, if you saw the movie Atlantic City, do you all remember that wonderful yeah. movie Atlantic City? And 
And I, I worked on that as a consultant as well, and Louis Mal told me that he based the Burt Lancaster character on the little guy that you see in my book, the little nebbish that hung out with Nucky and Al Capone. But anyhow, uh, Al, Nucky said, that's not me. And for a long time, I thought maybe it wasn't. But then, when I saw the picture that originally appeared in the paper, it was Nucky, Al Capone, and a, several other people. I started to think it really was that mm. picture. Yes, I think it was. I don't think they had Photoshop in 1940. <laughs> I, I don't have any, any much doubt about it. I don't know how, if you look at the picture, they're almost arm in arm, and it's not, they, they could do superimposing in different ways then, but it definitely, to me personally, you can't do anything but look at it. Uh, it was, there was no reason for him to be afraid or ashamed. He knew the guys, he was with them at the time. He created the avenue for them to come here and have a meeting. And uh, it was, there was no reason well, to Well, Lucky himself why. said that's not me. No, no, that but that, Lucky, that Lucky might be for him it. to say it right. for whatever so reason, for a defense or whatever. Don't oh. talk too much. <laughs> <laughs>